Hello everyone and thank you for coming back to my channel. I'm Deb Chanel and you're at Deb Chanel's 48 World. Hello, it's a family affair. But right now we got to go into celebrate good times. Come on, let's celebrate. There's a party going on right here. A celebration to last throughout the year. So bring your good times. And your laughter too, cause we gonna help you set your women, help you celebrate your party with you. I know I got it wrong, ma, but hey, celebration, celebrate is all right. Yeah, girl, we gonna celebrate tonight. We we'll celebrate in Eva's new house. Yes, da na 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 da. Dun, dun, dun. Eva got a house. Mm, 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 mm. It's seven hundred and eighty k thousand. They say she got it by herself. Her husband Mike Sterling didn't give a care. He didn't put his name on anything. That makes me think. Even I hit the bank, Molly gonna have a fit. Even I hit the bank, and Molly gonna have a fit. Yes, dun 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 dun. Yahoo! Let's celebrate. There's a party going on right here. A celebration to last throughout the year. So bring your good times. And your laughter too, cause we gonna celebrate your body with you. Come on now. Yes, honey, I got it from. Who is it I got it from? Hot new hip hop dot com. Let me give it to you again. Hot new hip hop dot com. Yes, they brought it out today and the journalist or correspondent Chantilly post put it out for us to toast okay her article reads Eva Marcel purchased a seven hundred and eighty thousand dollar home all by herself despite financial issues report now that's what she said i cannot make it up okay don't know if, it, if it's true or not this could have all be allegedly okay but hey i'm just reporting what's trending out there in the social media wavelengths and the news that you can use on the entertainers and their gossiping friends leaking out everything if the uh said person celebrity is not leaking it out themselves okay hit hit okay but let's get on into the article um but i want to say thank you again for coming to my channel if you're new to the channel please make sure you subscribe because it's a lot of videos over here that can make you laugh till you come till you become silly okay i'm all about entertaining <laughs> <laughs> if you haven't figured it out with the intro of my video okay but thank you for all my past subscribers my current subscribers and my new subscribers let's continue to grow together okay all right uh let's get into the arc it says eva marcel got a new home all on her own she's on her own why did it end this way this wasn't how it was supposed to be in my pat little bell voice but i'm just saying wait a minute she got a husband brand new husband still should be newly wedding around here in georgia why did she purchase a home by herself mm. can anybody gather a gander to take a guess i can't really think of anything unless her husband might sterling got bad credit I'm kind of figuring, I want to figure out how much the home actually cost. Was it a one million? Could have been one million. Mm. And it's in Atlanta. And it's really depending on part what part in Atlanta. Because she could be sitting on some serious land. If she got anything that's in the rural area. Meaning country country area. You got a lot of land. Probably got a lot of algae culture around there with people breeding their own or raising their own chickens and hens and 
um, what do you call it, cows. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But it's not coming to me. Okay, it's not really coming to me. But let's get on into the article. It says, Eva Marcel is now a proud Georgia homeowner after dropping a reported 780000 780000 on her gorgeous five-bedroom. Let's bag it up. Not one, not two, not three, not four, but five-bedroom, five-bathroom mansion mansion for some but when you got money it can be called and pronounced however you want it to be said so we're gonna say mansion mm-hmm. five bedroom five bathroom mansion y'all mm. Is she stomping higher than Nene Lisa or Candy Burst? I think she is. I, yeah, I do. Because Candy, well, no, I think Candy's house was $1 million. Well, I don't know. Fat checkers, get in there and let me know. But I know she paid for it. 500 Was it 500000 She sat down on it. Hmm. I think it was 500000 She had a, like a repo or a um, foreclosure home, I think. I'm not really sure. But I think her home is paid for if I'm not mistaken. And it probably costs double now than what she paid for. So, good real estate investment. But anyway. Mm. When is it moving in Porsche? Like Marlo said, don't go over your means, baby. Don't go over your means, okay? But anyway, moving back to the article. It says, the new purchase was followed by her abusive ex's ways well, the model said on an episode of Real Housewives of Atlanta that she wanted to find a new home that had more security so Kevin McCall couldn't get too close. Yes. She said she was in a domestic type relationship with her previous baby daddy, boyfriend, fiance. I'm not really sure. Okay. It, oh, I'm so sick of him. Get in here. Yes, uh, hmm, interesting. She said the new purchase was followed by her abusive exes. Ways where the model said in on an episode where Housewives of Atlanta, she wanted to find a new home. Hmm, but Eva, what I'm pretty much saying is you needed more security. You needed to be in a part of a gated community with a on-site security guard out there. Like when you're trying to come into the facility or the uh, neighborhood, you are stopped. And it don't matter what time of the day. He's always there. Or she's always there patrolling, making sure nobody get in. Not past him because he got to let him in. It's a gated community. See what I'm saying? Unless you got your own. You know how you been in them apartments that's gated. And you have to have a password or somebody got to let you in. Yeah. That's where you need to be. So I hope that $780,000 home community you're living in. If you're not like on Dallas and it's just a big old ranch type of house. Where you got cattle and you know. All kinds of livestock out there. You remember y'all remember Dallas back in the day? That show, hit show sitcom called Dallas. Woo! Now if you're sitting on something like that, girl, you don't hit a gold mine. I need to check you out. All right? But I'm tearing too long on this situation. Let's go on and keep reading here. Okay? Now I wonder what Milo going to say now. What Milo is you? People gonna drop the tea that even on slam dunk a seven hundred and eighty dollar mansion on your behind, girl. Eva is flossing and glossing, honey, flossing and glossing. All right, but anyway, according to the blast, that's a new or another blogging site, and that how don't look like it cost no seven hundred eighty thousand, do it, y'all? But then anyway, welcome. Okay, maybe it has some features we are not privy to see. Maybe that's the model home. But, yeah, she said she did to get away from this man. Now, we don't know if she a liar or not because, you know, Kevin McCall definitely had been out in them streets and getting arrested and rearrested and I don't know. Got some issues, definitely. 
But I don't know. They saying she bought the house by herself. Like, why do you need a husband if you're going out there doing all that, girl? He's supposed to be the provider, man. He's supposed to get the house, girl. What? He got bad credit, Eve. Girl, do he got bad credit? Let us know. Let us know, girl. Inquiring minds want to know, especially me. I'm nosy. But anyway, going back to the article, it says from the blast.com, Eva bought the home by herself with no help from her husband, Michael Sterling, which means the 35 year old must be in a good financial standing. Contrary to reports that Marlo Hampton was spreading on how Eva moves around so much because she's sinking financially. Eva shut down the reports making it clear that she was moving for her safety since she was fearful of Kevin. Now, she has this loving man, attorney man, Calvin. Um, I'm sorry, Michael Sterling. But he can't co-sign or be on the lease. Well, she's supposed to be buying, so that's a mortgage. She can't be on the deed. He can't be on the deed, Eva, girl. You, are you and Michael having trouble already, girl? Are you and Michael having trouble all together now? Why you want all these assets out of your name when you, you... I'm going too far. I'm going too far. Okay, let me come on out the driveway. Because I, I ain't got nothing to do with it. I ain't got nothing to do with it, girl. Because you ain't even using your social security number. From what I'm hearing on these streets, you're using another number, girl. How you get one of them numbers? I want to know. But anyway, going back to the article, it says domestic violence is very, very real. I went through domestic violence. I finally found the courage to come up and talk about it. Okay. And she has been talking about it uh, about a couple of years ago about what I went through with Kevin. Okay. She said previously, previously stated, I feel bad for women that have to deal with it. And it's actually not a laughable matter. It's something that actually makes you feel so little, so you don't want to talk about it. But it really sucks. Really sucks. Now, I ain't saying you got time on your hands, evil. I ain't saying that at all because you got, got too many babies running around that household. And then you got your little um, comforter bedding set line you got going on. And I don't know if you're still really a part of Dish Nation or not. Barely. Probably hanging on the stream with Real Housewives of Atlanta. But I was thinking in your spare time, since you feel so comfortable about batteredness and, and domestic violence, have you thought about being a spokesperson for them, baby? Hmm. That would be a good deed. No good deed is going on done, okay? But that's just my inquisitive mind. Or you may be already one, and I salute you if you are. Because we need more women who have been through that struggle to come out and make other women want to come out. Okay? Just saying. You go through something, you teach someone about it. Teach someone about it and make it better for them to understand that you don't have to stay in that type of situation. It is help. It's better above ground than a below ground. Okay? But yeah, uh, let me see. I think that's pretty much it. And I don't know what, who she was talking about, about domestic violence and people being or laughing about it or, or trying to laugh. I don't remember nobody doing that. Even not on, on the Real Housewives of Atlanta because I think NeNe had a spat with, um, allegedly, I'm thinking she had some domestic violence in her previous uh, past. And, you know, Sheree Whitfield was doing the same as well uh, with her previous husband. He... I don't know if she was alluding to he was her, uh, physically abusing her, but we could tell from it being taped on Real Housewives of Atlanta how verbally he was to her, non-emotionalist and, and just degrading her every chance he got a chance to do it, you know. But uh, yeah, so congratulations, Eva! Woohoo, woohoo for you! And I like again. I inquire my would like to know though, girl. Why why Mike ain't on that lease? Why he ain't on that mortgage deed, girl? Cause mostly newly married couples do buy things in each other's names, or especially a house. That's a big asset. But yet yeah, you did all of this on your own. Why did you go that way? These are things we really want to know. How 
did you do it, girl? What kind of IPN number did you use? Yeah. I'm so confused. <laughs> <laughs> but that's all I had uh, Ladies and gentlemen for this particular video Thumbs it up Like and share my videos And subscribe, subscribe, subscribe To none other day of Chanel's 40th world And I will see you tomorrow For another video Good night guys, be blessed Bye bye